you saw that New York Times story yesterday about Mrs. Clinton uh, promising to get to the bottom of the UFO and Area 51 conspiracies. And I wondered if the president would like to beat her to the punch uh, <laughs> by, uh, you know, com showing his degree of transparency on uh, this yeah. issue, which is of concern to a lot of Americans. Yeah. Um, I have to admit I don't have a tab in my briefing book for uh, Area 51 today. Or a joke. Um, or a joke. Maybe it has. Part of a grand conspiracy. Um, I don't, I'm not aware of any plans that the President has to uh, uh, make public any information about this. But, um, Does that, he feel he's gotten to the bottom of it? Well, I know that he has uh, joked publicly before about uh, one of the benefits of uh, the Presidency is having access to that information. Uh, I don't know whether or not he has availed himself of that opportunity. Uh, but um, uh, if we have more on this, we'll let you know. <laughs> At night, under cover of darkness. <laughs> Potentially. This increased interest in Roswell, you're doing the dance at the podium about it. Is there a such thing? Are you, look at you, you're drinking, so you're trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Is there such thing? I mean, are you keeping quiet because of security concerns? I mean, you know, you know, are we to think that there might be life beyond here? You know, I mean, question. seriously, I mean, I'm. I'll just say, April, there are some questions that even the White House press secretary doesn't have answers to. Uh, this is one of them. You're not going to get off easy like that. Okay. Well, you keep trying. Okay. <laughs>